Hey artist, welcome back. Today we're going to color Charizard and I'm going to color him in Photoshop. And we're just going to continue the drawing uh, that we started. Um, so go ahead and get your Charizard drawing out. Now I'm going to use Photoshop and I'm going to color it just like I would if I was using colored pencils or crayons or markers. So I'm going to keep it very simple. So first thing we're going to do is we've got our Charizard open over here. Um, I'm going to create a new layer. Now if you're going to use markers or colored pencils, you would not create a layer, obviously. But I'm going to create a layer just for the sake of this demo. <clears throat> And I'm going to use basic, simple colors, the same way I would if I was just using markers or color pencils, okay? So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to get my brush out. And what I'm going to do is pick a pen type. I'm going to pick hard or round pressure. That's going to simulate a color pencil. And what I want to do that for is because a color pencil is consistent in its color and flow. So we don't that, that means that we want the color like a marker when you when you draw it across your paper, the color is going to look the same throughout the entire stroke. Okay, so first, let's grab orange. So you want to grab a bright orange. I'm going to grab this called goldenrod and we're going to start off by coloring in our Charizard. Actually, one sec, I'm going to make this black and white. Okay, there we go. Okay. So, let's see. How does that look? Let's go a little brighter. Now, if you want to grab a bright orange, by all means, Go for it. We want to get as pure, bright orange as possible. Okay? Now, the first thing we want to do is what's called the flats. So, we're going to color in our Charizard. Let me put this on 100% opacity. Okay, there we go. That looks good. 100% opacity means that our character is not going to be transparent. And like I said, I'm going to color this the same way I would if you were using markers or uh, color pencils. So I'm going to do minimal erasing on this part because obviously you can't erase markers and you can't erase color pencils. Now another thing we can do is wherever Charizard is orange, we can just basically fill it in. I really like using color pencils when I color. Um, and I'm going to keep that in mind because color pencils you can add a little bit of layering um, with your with your color as you as you go. So the harder you press, essentially the darker, more pure your, your color is going to be. Now you want to make sure that you color around his tongue and we want to stay in the lines. Okay, we want to have a nice even drawing. Make sure to keep your pencil sharpener nearby too if you're using pencils. We want to keep our pencils nice and sharp. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here because I can. If you're following along and you're using Photoshop like I am or a tablet, I'm just using orange bright orange and I zoomed in slightly so I could get a little bit of a better look at what I'm doing.
Oops. One good thing about having digital, like I said before, is you can undo if you make a mistake. <clears throat> Which is a benefit of using a computer. But the principles, like I said, are the same. in between his teeth. Okay. Let's color his hand. Now if you're Charizard, isn't the same color as mine. That's okay. You just want to pick the orange or maybe a red. Um, you can paint them whatever color you want. I know there's shiny Pokemon. And they look slightly different than the originals. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to color them the normal Charizard standard colors. Okay? Another benefit of digitally coloring is, <coughs> excuse me, is that you can change the size of your brush. So if you were using colored pencils, unfortunately you can't do that. But if you were using a marker, you could. You could use a bigger marker, bigger tip. For the sake of this tutorial, once I have the flats in, um, I'm going to pick a brush in Photoshop here that simulates color pencil, pencil, so that when we do a little bit of the detail work, it's not so different from what you might be doing at home. Remember, like I said, you can do this with paint, you could use marker, you could use colored pencil, or maybe you're using a crayon. It's okay too. So remember his tummy, his his, his stomach goes under his body. And it wraps around his tail. Take your time as you're doing this. We don't want to rush. Also, want you guys to remember Charizard is a cartoon dragon. Okay, it's not real. So don't feel like this has to look perfect and has to look just like the cartoon or just like a card in the card game. It doesn't, okay? I mean, if you look, you know, I'm not really doing a lot of detail on the wings here. Even they're very simple. I tried to keep this very simple for you guys. We can always do more detailed drawings later. Just wanted this to be easy for you to get through, easy for you to understand. We'll do more, more complicated drawing tutorials uh, later on. Okay. Trust me, we can make it really detailed and complicated, and that's not what we're trying to do here. I wanted this to be easy and simple. That you know, a little kid, you know, five years old could do it. But, you know, maybe there's enough technical know-how in this video that if you're a little bit older, 
you know, or you're using, like I said, you're using a computer, uh, then you could get a little bit more out of it. But this is not a Photoshop tutorial, okay? It's just a coloring tutorial. Okay, there's our orange. I'm going to go ahead and save. Now, this tail flame, I'm going to carry on some of this orange right here. And I am going to make... Let's see, the, the flames get hotter, they get brighter and whiter. So I'm just going to do the outside flame, the same color as his tail. <clears throat> okay, looks pretty good. Now let's save. Okay, so we have orange. Now let's get a yellow. Let's do web colors. I'm gonna get a light, a light yellow, like a cream. Okay. And we're going to color his stomach. So grab a creamy yellow if you have one. Don't worry at the end, we're going to use a black black marker or a black pencil and we're going to go around and do some uh, detailing, okay? And then I'll do uh, a special video at the very end once we're done for those of you who are following along using Photoshop or a tablet and I'll show you some tricks on how to clean up or your drawing even further and um, use Photoshop or your paint, your favorite paint program to add some extra cool effects uh, like highlights and shadows. But uh, for the color pencil and the marker people, we're going to keep it very simple. Okay. <clears throat> okay, here's our cream. Now I'm going to grab a yellow, a golden, bright mustard yellow. We're going to use that for our flame here. I'm going to paint the inside of the flame on his tail this golden yellow. I like that. Okay. And now let's get let's get a red. Okay. Just pick a nice bright red. And I'm going to paint the inside of this flame between the yellow and the orange red. It's going to help it pop out. Oh, look at that. That looks nice. Now let's paint these little flames here. It's red. You know, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this red. I'm going to go around this yellow. And if you have a marker or a color pencil, you could do that. That's pretty easy to do. <clears throat> Once we have finished this and we're in the special effects Photoshop portion, I will show you how to um, 
add special effects like the fire. Okay, now let's grab a pink. I'm gonna get a rose pink, a rosy pink. Not very bright. I'm gonna paint his tongue. We're also gonna paint his gums. Let's go ahead and paint the gums. Okay, now one thing I want to do is I'm going to get a, uh, a magenta color. So in between red and pink, I'm going to get this deeper, deeper rose, okay? And we're going to use that to paint the inside of his mouth in this dark area. Around his teeth, under his tongue. And that's going to simulate the darkness inside of his mouth, okay? Going around the teeth. <clears throat> Actually forgot to draw some teeth. His uh his front chompers. That's okay. We'll add those in the special effects part in the uh the bonus Photoshop detail section. Now if you want, what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm just going to make a little, these little curves right by the teeth. It's going to make it look like they're in his mouth because we're rounding them out. See that? Looks like they're sunk into his gums. Now that one I forgot to paint, so we're going to go over those with white. Now if you have a white color pencil, um, that'll work well for you because color pencil will let you layer. Now if you're using markers, you won't be able to use a white because there is no such thing as a white marker. So you'll have to use, um, you'd either have to use paint and paint over your drawing, which we're probably not going to do today, or you'd have to use like whiteout, which is a, a trick you can use. But if you have a white color pencil, you can layer your color pencil and what I'm going to suggest, and we'll do it last, is that you would add that detail last. Now, as you can see here, I'm using this dark pink as well. And I'm going over the tongue. I 
and I'm just going to go right here on the inside of his lips. <clears throat> Now, if you're following along with pencils, colored pencils, you could do the same thing. You just use this darker color, and you go over the top of the lighter color. Okay. There we go. Okay, now let's go ahead and save that. Okay, now let's grab the turquoise, the aqua. This is, this is probably my favorite part of doing the Charizard, is that aqua color. So it looks so pretty. Um... Let's go a little bit more blue, less green. Hmm, one notch. Need more blue. Aqua blue. Looks okay. If your color is slightly different than mine, that's alright. Okay, let's do his wings. Probably one of my favorite parts about drawing is doing the coloring. You're adding the color and the detail, and the drawing just comes to life. It just looks so cool. Now, one thing you might not know, but the color scheme of Charizard is actually what we call complementary colors. Orange and blue, if you aren't aware, are opposite one another on the color wheel. And um, they complement each other very well. And one way you can sort of see this in real life, actually, is if you look at sports team or school color logos. School colors, blue and gold, blue and orange. You can think about the Miami Dolphins. Uh, turquoise and orange, the Chicago Bears, blue and orange, um, blue and yellow, the Rams, um, the Chargers, right? <clears throat> Purple and gold, the Lakers, those colors go together. So if you look at your favorite Pokemon and your favorite characters, you'll notice that a lot of their color schemes are um, complementary. And this is on purpose, obviously. Okay, we're almost done with our flats. And then we're going to take a break. And then we're going to come back and we're going to do our inks. And we're going to outline Charizard in black. And he's really going to pop out. And then if you have a com computer or you're using Photoshop, you can stick around for the bonus section and um, you could also use paint for that section if you wanted to add some extra details and special effects uh, to our drawing but I'm going to use Photoshop here and show you guys how to do some extra shading and uh, some lighting effects for the fire and then actually how I might clean up this drawing even more using Photoshop's eraser tool because we are doing this on layers so if you're using a computer one benefit you have is you have layers. So the drawing itself is on a different layer than the color. See? Okay, it's coming out pretty good. Let's go ahead and color his eye. And then for his claws. For his claws, let's use a gray. Silvery gray. Not that one right there. So, so that's a warm gray. So if you have color pencils, 
grab a warm gray, okay? Now we're just going to fill in his claws. Now let's do his toenails. And then I'm going to grab a white. So grab your white pencil, and then let's do his teeth and his eye. And in the last part of uh, the cleanup, and like I said, the special effects part, I'll show you how to clean the drawing up and add in some effects. As you can see, some of these some of these parts of this drawing are a little bit dirty. Or you can't see the full detail of um, like that tooth right there. So okay, so there we go. We got the flats done. Let's go ahead and save this. And then the next part, we're gonna ink Charizard, and then we're gonna add. Um, still use your color pencils. We're gonna add a highlight layer in a shadow layer that's going to help him stand out okay so stay tuned for the next part i'll see you there